Sarah, do you ever mess up? Do you ever trim through your pots? Of course I do, and this is one such time, so don't go getting too attached. Typically, when I trim through something, it's a matter of reckless endangerment rather than a total blindside. As I trim this, you can see that I'm tapping on the floor to listen to the thickness of the clay. This is actually surprisingly accurate after years and years of learning what clay that is too thick and clay that is getting too thin sounds like. I know that this is getting thin, but to get the foot as deep as I want it to be visually, I need to go further. This is basically an issue of not leaving enough clay at the bottom. I could have stopped before it got too thin, but it didn't look quite right at that depth, so I kept going. I don't trim straight through the floor, but when I pick it up off of the wheel, I can feel how thin the floor is by how badly the balance is off in the weight distribution. When the floor of a mug is too thin, it will make for a poor holding and drinking experience, so this mug doesn't make the cut. I'm actually going to San Antonio today to visit one of my best friends since middle school. If you're from San Antonio, drop a comment letting us know what we should do.